Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a personal break of sorts here this evening. I do have several of my own Pokemon products that I've picked up in recent times to just check out here on the channel and of course open up for myself. So I was searching for this Arceus V figure collection box for quite some time. Did find this at Target recently so I've been saving this to open up maybe on my channel. Wasn't sure if it'd be on this channel but since we don't have anything in the queue today, figured I'd go ahead and open up not only this Arceus collection and also these two three-pack blisters with the evolution promos so excited to check out looks like an assortment of brilliant stars wait hold on there's a pack of cosmic eclipse in here what the heck yeah there's two brilliant stars a cosmic eclipse a chilling rain and then these are three packs each of astral radiance what i did not know no wonder this was so hard to find i was just like once this promo came out in Japan, I was like, oh, please, I hope this comes over to English edition. I almost bought a Japanese one, but I figured I'd wait. And of course, I love the little minifigure. But yeah, Cosmic Eclipse pack in here. That's uh, that's something special. So that'll be interesting. And then, of course, like I said, the three pack blisters with the Eevee and the Sylveon. I've actually been pretty lucky. I've picked up each of the other Evolution promos that have come out so far. The Espeon and Umbreon. The Jolteon, Vaporeon, Flareon, so cool now, Sylveon and Eevee, Eevee himself, so excited to see if I get any pulls. Overall, just excited to be checking out these products, but before we get started, would like to go ahead and mention, if you guys are not aware, I am participating in the Maxim 2022 Cover Girl Contest, so if you guys would like to see me be on the cover of Maxim Magazine, it is up to public votes, whoever gets the most wins that cover. Link is pinned in the comment section down below. Vote once per day, completely free. There is a pay to win option. So I am of course nervous, but I believe if we can all be pretty consistent about it, I might have a good chance. I'd love to make it out of the group rounds. First elimination is on Thursday. So that's uh, got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and get started here. Ooh, what do I want to start with? I want to, I want to check out that cosmic eclipse pack. So we're going to start with the figure collection. Let me go ahead and snap us into the corner and yeah did not realize i saw that i was like hold up that's the adp pack from cosmic eclipse so yeah two brilliant stars a chilling rain and cosmic eclipse Woo! let's go ahead and get on into this what else do we have in here the sculpted Arceus figure, the promo, a code card for PTCG live and of course the four assorted booster packs so this box does have a pretty cool texture on it yeah it looks like you guys can see it uh, on camera it's pretty grainy outside of these areas here no, Arceus is uh, around his, his rings. Uh, well, that's just the, the background area. Okay, I was like, is he textured as well? It looks like there's a bit of overlap over here, but now he stands out. So this is actually a pretty cool box. Hopefully I can uh, open this somewhat nicely so I can keep it. I don't think that'll be possible, but yeah, that didn't tear very well. <sighs> I don't know what it is. I like trying to keep the packaging. I mean, this is not going to work. I'm not going to be able to keep this. This is... I am destroying this. But... Why that Pokemon? Why do you make your packaging so neat? Like, why do you have a textured box? I appreciate the extra effort, but... It could have just not done that and made it, like, a dollar cheaper. That would have been cooler. Although these figure collections aren't very expensive. I think it was 25 Four packs in the figure. I remember I used to get a lot of the figure collections back in the day. I remember I had that original, the black and white trio. I had the Victini one. Of course, if I'd kept those sealed, it would have been a lot cooler to have them nowadays. But I have those cards somewhere and the figures somewhere as well. So I love this gorgeous promo. I love this promo. Now, I wasn't quite sure where it came from, but looking at eBay listing titles, I think it was like the when you bought the Pokemon Legends Arceus in Japan. Uh, either all of the games had it or like a certain store had it as like a pre-order bonus. That was my understanding of it. If I am incorrect, please let me know in the comments down below. But I'm so happy that we did get that promo. So, I do have a pretty small PSA 10 Arceus collection. Unfortunately, Arceus being the god of Pokemon means that it's not a cheap collection. But someday I'd love to complete it. Would love to have this in the 10... I do have several of those Pokemon Platinum Arceus, the AR cards that you put them all together and it makes the uh, his rings. I do have several of those. I remember I was chasing that subset back in the day. I'd be like, Mom, please buy me another pack after school to try and get those Arceus cards. And I do have several of them raw. I should look at them. There's no way they're in great shape, though. But I've always, hey, long story short, I've always loved Arceus. I love how there's Starlies and Beautifulies. Oh, there's a Staravia here, too. Oh, the Bidoos! How did I not see the Bidoos? Oh, 
That is such a cool promo. Love it. It's RCSV. And then Brilliant Stars 1, Brilliant Stars 2, Chilling Rain. Where is the code card, by the way? Code card is under Cosmic Eclipse. I would like to keep the code card. I don't play much PTCG. I know, I've actually not downloaded PTCG Live. I had the original account. I need to still transfer it over. But that's actually... That is interesting to see Cosmic Eclipse here. Which we're going to open that one on first. Let's 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 just go for it. Let's see. We're probably not going to find anything, but this is a really sick figure. He's judging. He's using judgment on us. I love Arceus. He's always so judgy. Of course, signature move being judgment, it makes sense. This is a really cool collection. Even if it didn't have the Cosmic Eclipse packs, let's say it had two Chilling Rain. This is still really, really cool. Love this. Love this. This is what I bought it for. This all here is really just extra. I, I tend to buy these specialty products for the promos or like extra bonus stuff. So I was like, sign me up. An Arceus figure and the promo I really wanted. Oh. I'll give away these codes, though. I just want i want the code for this one. Which is, I know why people buy the set, but... Anyways, we do have a white code. I'll, I'll share that at the end. I wasn't sure which direction it was going to face. We could, of course, have one of those trainer secrets there, I believe, in the reverse slot. So, like, the Dawn and Piplup. Then the other ones. Ah, we don't have one of those here. We do have a Sveal and Empoleon Rare. Okay. I did like this blocky design with the energy. It looks like a secret base door or something. Maybe it's something out of Star Wars just opens like this way. Cosmoum, Celio, and Draw Energy. There's that Cosmic Eclipse code card. Where did they find Cosmic Eclipse? Did they? Is there like a fresh reprint of Cosmic Eclipse or, or what? I doubt they'd reprint it. Maybe they just found like a bunch of it. Like I remember, I remember when... Uh, Evolutions was like bulk. It's like Evolutions was in like every one of these box displays. And everyone was like, this set's garbage. And then it became all the rage to chase after that Charizard. I have one reverse, one hollow of that Charizard. And I don't, I never found it when that thing was super expensive. You know, like late 2020. I just, I never found it. I wish I did though. I totally would have traded that for other cards. Scorbunny is cute here. Little Diglets. We have Laron reverse. Malamar, rare. There's the code for the Chilling Rain. And then, all right, Brilliant Stars. We don't have any Arceus packs out of the Arceus box. We do have the Shaman and the Whimsicott pack. Whimsicott is such a cutie. Milsuri is also cute. I'm not quite sure what it is. The Cream Pokemon? I could see that. It's cute, though. Nose pass. Oh, we do have Flareon and Gary here from the Trainer Gallery. Nice. I'm happy with that. Grim Snarl. Man, we've been... <laughs> Something's in the air here. Something's in the air. Is it because I'm wearing my Bolt shirt? And I'm getting the lightning energy? <laughs> How about that game last night, everybody? Haha, <laughs> abs and four. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. I mean, it was looking tough for a while, but, you know, never underestimate your opponents. Which is why I mention my, my voting link every day. <laughs> Alright, pack number four. So this finishes off the collection box. Little cute little Buizel. I had such a hard time finding a big Buizel for that side quest. I love this Badoof card with, you know, the Barry in the background. Gibble! Gibble Reverse. And hey, Bee Barrel Hollow. Perfect for me. Badoofing it up over here. Oh, we have our first non-electric energy. What does it mean? Alright, so we did have a Hollow Rare. So that was a black code there. We did have a Hollow Rare out of the RC's V figure collection box. I, of course, was just happy with my box promos. Happy with the Bee Barrel. And very cool to find that Flareon. So I'm going to sleeve up the Gary and Flareon here. Love it. I'll sleeve up my B barrel too. Why not? Everything gets a sleeve. All right, so I'm going to pick this up here. Still can't believe it's 2022 and I opened up a Cosmic Eclipse pack. All right, into these here. These are the Astral Radiance three pack blisters, continuing on with the Evolutions promos. Now we do have the Jumbo Charizard coin. I have a pretty decent coin collection too. I would always pick out the check lane blisters with the cool coins. Like, I have some Team Plasma coins. I don't know if any of the coins are actually worth anything. 
But I have a pretty neat collection of coins somewhere in my bedroom. We'll say that. All right, so I kind of gave away my QR code here for the Eevee. So here you go. Congrats to whoever sniped my Eevee. And there's the Eevee promo. Cute, cute, cute. Sleeve the Eve. Sleeve in the Eve. And here is our Jumbo coin. Jumbo Charizard. Put that for recycling. And then three packs of Astral Radiance. We have two Hisuian Typhlosions. One Hisuian um, Decidui. Uh, I'm actually going to open up both of these so we can go through the packs. I'll remember that this is the Eevee stack just so we can do a bit of a battle. But just to move everything off screen. This is a bit loud. All right. Oh, we have Origin Form Palkia. Cheerzard coin. Do, do, do. Dialga. Another Dialga. Believe I accidentally gave away my code here as well. So there you go. Sylveon promo. Congrats, whoever got that one. And sleep up my Sylveon. So Sylveon's ribbons are interesting because they're they're prehensile. So like it's weird. It's like, are they are they like an extra set of arms? They they touch things. They can reach out and wrap themselves around things. So it's interesting. I like to not think too hard about like Pokemon designs, like rap boots and whatnot. It's like, but you're wearing pants. It's like, but it's part of you. It's like, or like Ash's Greninja, like the scarf. I'm sure the anime has an explanation for that one. I'm sure Ash, like, gives him a scarf. But, like, if that was just part of him, that'd be really weird. There's some Pokemon designs that are very awkward. <laughs> because it's like, it looks like you're wearing clothes, but that's part of your body. <laughs> it's like if Donald Duck's pants are, like, actually just part of the duck part of Donald Duck. That wouldn't make sense. I just try not to think about it. But, all right, this was the Sylveon stack here with our legendary. So, let's see what pulls we can get out of here, if any. If I don't get any, I won't be disappointed because I always expect nothing out of these. I just get them for the promos. And we do actually have some sort of Pokemon V here. Teddy Ursa is so adorable. Rowlet Reverse and Hisuian Samurott V. I think Hisuian Samurott looks better than regular Samurott. I really like all of the forms. Cranidos, adorable. I really like all of them. I remember when they were first leaked... People didn't like them, but I think it's just people not being used to change. Like I remember when my I was I was able to stay away from the spoilers that for the variants. So when my because I picked Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's like my only preferred starter for fire. I know I'm rude. I'm not a Charmander person. I'm a Bulbasaur girl. But I had picked Cyndaquil and I was able to stay away from all the spoilers and I was like Wow, because he actually, I had evolved him at night, too, in the game, so, like, glowed purple. I was like, this is sick. Why do people say he looks like trash? And then I like the Decidueye. He looks cool. He looks like a classic Japanese owl, like, cool samurai-looking owl. I think he looks cool. So I think, actually, popular consensus now is that it's grown on people, but initially, I know there's a lot of people saying that all the, the new evolutions were ugly. So I thought they were cool. Look at the little Drifloon. Astro Radiance and Brilliant Stars have been super fun for me. Just seeing, because my favorite, my first ever game and my favorite Pokemon game was Platinum. For a regular Pokemon. My first ever actual Pokemon game was the uh, the Blue Mystery Dungeon. For the DS. It wasn't the original, I don't think. It was the... I don't remember, I remember the cover. I don't remember the exact, the exact name. But there was the blue and the red one. I had the blue one. So that was my technical first Pokemon game. But for, like, Pokemon that we think of it, it was Platinum. So I, it was my favorite. So Legends Arceus, I've really enjoyed these cards with these Sinnoh locations are just great. I love them. All right. I'm so used to hiding the codes that I flip them over that way. What do we have? We have Grant. You're not from Sinnoh. Get out of here. Thievel. All All right, so in the Sylveon Blister, we did have a Hisuian Samurott V. We did have one pull, technically. All right, let's move into the Eevee stack here. Decidueye, let's go. Oh, 
You have Cleavor, Ursaluna, rare, the V-Star marker. I had such a hard time beating Avalug. I, I have not beaten any of the, 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 like, Cleaver, what are they called? Not totem Pokemon, that's Alolan stuff, but the, the, the Pokemon, I, I did not beat any of them on the first try. I got really close on some of them. I, like I said, I just beat Avalog, so I think Avalog was the fourth one, but I got close. Not close on Cleavor, but... Yeah, I like how I was able to figure it out a bit more, like the patterns as I went on. I was like, oh, this is how you're supposed to play the game. But I was hoping there might be one more. I don't know. I was hoping that I would get at least one of them on the first try. Avalog by far was like the hardest though for me. I was so frustrated because it's like I would know what to do. I just wasn't able to execute it and I kept dying. Anyways, let's see. Typhlosion pack. Let's see. I like him with the purple. I, I like... Is Sweden Typhlosion better than regular Typhlosion? I just like the purple. He's really cool to bring out at night and fight at night. Miss Magius, and then his Sweden Overquill. Rare. All right, so we whiffed on the Eevee. Whiffed on the Eevee promo pack. But let's go ahead and just recap. So, out of the Sylveon. Sylveon will give Sylveon the win here for pulling a Hisuian Samurott V. Then, in total, did have five other rares, Glaceon, Thievul, Ursaluna, Rapidash, and Hisuian Overquill. But I've really been enjoying Astral Radiance. We haven't checked out too much here on the channel, but from what we've opened, we've did pretty well. Did actually have a personal break one weekend for Trimpos, in which we found that Alt Art Origin Form Dialga. So that was really cool. We've seen, we've seen I think, two of the, uh, what, the Secret Palkia? ones the, the v maxes so we've had some really good pulls i'm just here excited i honestly love just the commons and uncommons from these sets like i said just oh, these these cine locations are great so i had a lot of fun here checking out all of these assorted pokemons that i've stacked up on uh, we don't currently have anything tomorrow just because monday was a federal holiday so a little bit a little bit behind in terms of deliveries and shipments so not sure what's supposed to be releasing tomorrow, but we're just getting like some deck boxes and stuff. Some restocks for like in-store gaming supplies. So I do actually have a three blaster boxes of Star Wars, the Bounty Hunters. I found those at Target. I know when I opened it up, I was like, I don't know if I'm crazy about this set, but I know if I encounter any, I'll just impulse grab it just to see. Because Star Wars is always fun to open, even though I'm not much of like a Boba Fett or Bounty Hunter person. It's... Star Wars blaster boxes are always fun. So might do that tomorrow. Or we'll see if we have any surprise arrivals to check out. But it's been pretty fun this week. Yesterday, I opened up Dragon Ball Super for the first time. It seems like you guys enjoyed that opening. So next time I'm out and about, I'll take a look, see if I can pick up some more packs. Very happy to finally get to open these on up. It's not like I've held on to it for a while. I've got these pretty recently, but still excited to have checked this out here finally. Because I just feel, anytime, it's weird. I don't like opening packs off camera now just because you never know what you're going to find and I'd love to share an incredible moment with you all. So we didn't find anything crazy here today, but I had a blast. So I hope that you all enjoyed it as well. If you did, of course, as always, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, drop those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we don't open up too much Pokemon here, but I always enjoy it whenever I am able to. Next, might be able to check out some of that Pokemon Go set, I think is scheduled for the start of July. Doesn't have any booster boxes, but it does have a lot of like the collections and the blisters and tins and Elite Trainer boxes. So there'll be a bunch of products for it. Not sure how much of it we're going to open here because we tend to do boxes. So. What kind of Pokemon Go openings would you like to see? Let me know down below. But anyways, as I was saying, don't check out too much Pokemon, but I really do enjoy it, really get into it whenever we do. So if you'd love to see more from me, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you've not yet already done so. And like I said, this is all I have for you here this evening. So before I get on out of here, I do have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your supports. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have 12 Black Label fans. And in Bounty Hunter Breaks, D. Vaughn, Fails Tales, Gabriel Adaro, Kira Soltari, Mark Martini, Mike Clodius, M.T., Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have eight Gem Mint fans. Jarachi Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Shinev Zen, Touchdown on Paper, Unbreaded, and Vanek. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. 
and all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But yes, I had a lot of fun. So like I said, I hope that you all did too. Nothing crazy, nothing like high value this week or anything, but I just, I've been having a blast. So I really enjoy these openings and I hope that you are all as well. So that does do it for me here today. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you'll join me in the next video. Bye.